Hey everyone, welcome to World Heritage Journey. For today's video, we're at the Grand Canal at various locations around China. The Grand Canal is one of the world's most incredible engineering feats. Both the world's longest and oldest canal, it stretches an amazing 1,776 kilometers from Beijing in the north to Hangzhou in the south, and it connects China's two most important rivers, the Yellow and the Yangtze. Although parts of the canal date back to the 5th century BC, much of it is newer built by the Ming Dynasty from around the 15th century AD, particularly by Emperor Yongle. Here in Beijing, the canal ends at the beautiful scenic spot of Lake Hohai. You'll find picturesque boats, arched bridges, and lovely willow trees dangling out over the water. It's all very peaceful and relaxed, and it's a far cry from the southern sections of the canal which these days are still busy shipping lanes crowded with barges and other traffic. And so here we are. This is the end of the Grand Canal in the city of Suzhou in southern China, not too far from Shanghai. It's quite a nice bookend, I think, because the Grand Canal was one of the first sites that we saw here in China. And now the last site that we're looking at as well is right at the other end of the Grand Canal. And it's just a monumental feat of engineering when you think about it, because it's about 1,500 kilometers long. It connects the north and the south of the country the rice areas and the wheat areas. It moved troops around, all sorts of important trade goods that we associate with China like spices, silk and porcelain. And yeah, I really think that China as we know it probably wouldn't exist today uh, without the Grand Canal, which is a really staggering thought I think, but certainly one well worth pondering. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Hit subscribe if you'd like to see more from the World Heritage Journey. I'll see you next time.